If you ever wondered how to correctly describe the results of statistical tests and models, this video is for you. In a few minutes, you learn how to report the results of correlations, t-tests, generalized linear models, mixed effects models, Bayesian models, and even more. So let's start with a simple t-test. The usual output of a t-test is not really appealing, to say the least. And if we try to write down the results, we might end up reporting only a p-value. However, if we add only one word to this code, we'll get so much more. First of all, we'll get a digestible piece of text, suitable for any publication instantly, with all important statistics, brackets, and special characters. If you think it's not a big deal, try to rewrite it at least once without a single mistake. Secondly, it gives us the difference between groups with 95% confidence intervals. While the test only provides the confidence intervals of probably difference, but not the difference itself, the very thing we are interested in. On top of that, report function provides a humanly readable p-value of under 0001. Instead of a strange scientific notation, nobody really likes and only few understand. And finally, it not only calculates the effect size with 95% confidence intervals for us, which a classic test doesn't do, but also interprets it and even provides a reference. Reporting results of non-parametric tests, for example Wilcoxon test, is even more useful, because the report function correctly says the Wilcoxon rank sum test is testing the difference in ranks, while even some scientific papers mistakenly say that Wilcoxon test is testing the difference in medians, which is just wrong. Medians are only used to better describe not normally distributed data, but medians are not used to compare groups. In fact, the difference in ranks can be significant even when medians are identical. Here again, report function applies a rank by serial correlation coefficient as a suitable effect size for Wilcoxon rank sum test with a reference. And, as you can see, report package not only produces more results and is suitable for publication form, but also ensures a correct interpretation of these results. By the way, we can easily integrate parts of the results into the text of our manuscript if we prepare our manuscript in our studio. For instance, if we use report statistics function in the middle of the text, only numbers from our test will be incorporated into the text. The report effect size function would only report the effect size. Similarly, we can easily report the results of parametric Pearson or non-parametric Spearman or Kendall correlations. Besides, report table function allows you to display your result as a table instead of text. But enough about tests. Let's see how report package handles models. First of all, the usual summary of a model provides some useful information, but the output is again not very friendly to the human eye, and it is not clear how to describe it. I bet 10 researchers would report these results in 10 slightly different ways. In contrast, report package provides a standardized way to report model results and again delivers so much more than the classic summary function. Particularly, it describes what kind of model we used, while the summary does not. It interprets the R squared, while the summary does not. It uncovers what is behind the mysterious intercept, while the summary assumes that you already know it. And finally, Report function describes parameters AM and HB by providing the slope with useful 95% confidence intervals, while the summary gives you not really useful standard error of the mean. In fact, if used for models, the report function gives you more than you might want to use. That is why you can apply a summary command on top of the report command in order to report only essential information. Similarly to test results, you can display model results as a table with the report table command, or use different parts of the report inside of your text with report model, report performance, report parameters, report statistics, or report effect size functions. 
The report package can of course report logistic regressions, but this is not really surprising. Surprising is, however, that it can also easily handle linear mixed effects models whose popularity and usage is currently exploding. The function explicitly describes random effects and interprets the explanatory power of the model with the coefficients of determination. Conditional R-square for the whole model including random effects and the marginal R-squared for only fixed effects or for only predictors without random effects. Bayesian models can also be reported using the new sequential effect existence and significance testing framework, or abbreviated SEGSEED. I swear I did not make it up. This report describes how Markov chain Monte Carlo was computed, which primers were used, it conducts Bayesian probabilistic hypothesis testing via SEGSEED and provides references for reported metrics, so that you can learn more if something is not completely clear. The full report for Bayesian models is huge though, but here you also can use parts of the report effortlessly. Just choose what you want to include into your text with one of the following functions. Report priors, report model, report performance, report parameters, report statistics, or report effect size. You can also quickly describe your data by simply using report function on your dataset. It provides the most common descriptive statistics for every variable, doesn't matter numeric or categorical. Besides, report package works perfectly with famous tidyverse packages like dplyr. Thus, the data can be easily grouped by any categorical variable, for example species, and the descriptive stats for every level of the grouping variable will be returned. Want the same as a huge or a minimalistic table? No problems. Use report table or report sample functions on your dataset. And finally, using only one command, report session info, you first report the statistical software you used for data analysis, secondly, you list all packages you used, and lastly, you cite all packages you used automatically without any typing mistakes. How cool is that? And if you want to know how to find the best model which you then can report, check out GLMulti package.